Our project has been going for three years. Who am I? Who are we? It's the most amazing experience. It's gone from being a project to being our creative lives. It's shown people how to live a life, it's shown people how to connect, collaborate, and become European in the process. Horizons have been broadened, aspirations have been raised. It's not a project, it's life. I think it's a, a creative community that's been fostered to bond together from long distance and it's bringing young people together to uh, some kind of iconic group that breeds uh, culture, I suppose. It's an exploration of the self through the medium of art. The best thing about it is that it's, it's free and there's, there's no limits. Exploring who I am and who we are as a group um, and just really getting to know deep inside who you are. I think what led me into it was the aspect of just the international communication because I, I enjoy like speaking over the internet and communicating with other people and uh, bringing people together and uh, I think what attracted me most about the, the mu more musical side of it was uh, having those experiences with other people that have had different experiences. I think it lets people speak the truth. It lets people uh, open up to the real world and to bond together. I think the thing at the core of it is, is the relationship aspect of it and uh, well for me certainly it was the, st the students and coming together with the students and, and making friends with the students. Um, the stuff we've done isn't about a person on their own, it's developed into something about um, a group of people. You see uh, just people in, in circles and people uh, in groups and, and lines just all, all wanting the same thing, all wanting to be part of something. Uh, it's, it's a whole new arm of, uh, of, of talking to people in, a, in an artistic language. I mean, talking to people on the internet that are thousands of miles away, sending them photographs, sending them music, sending them artwork, and, and, and having their feedback. I think it makes you feel like you're like you're part of a of a continent, which we are. But with, I think a lot of people don't actually realise how um, close we are to the, these people in, in in the in the world today. They're on your internet. They're they're on the end of a phone. You know, they're they're basically right beside you. The travel and exhibition is a way of moving about Scotland and exploring the country but making art as we go along. So we'll go to a place and we'll leave behind something that wasn't there before, um, something that we created together as a community. Well, one thing I enjoyed was the buses and uh, that there wasn't actually a, a grounded exhibition. 
and that uh, the exhibition was the buses and, and was the, the students and, and was the, the artwork and the music that was uh, moving around the country, moving around Scotland. So, I mean, you've got all these characters from, from different countries that have been squeezed into these little spaces and, and these buses and they're just squeezing out talent and squeezing out like poetry, film, music, uh, art, everything. Uh, well, the first day we were at um, Wallace Monument. Uh, I mean, it's a place I visited before uh, when I was young. And uh, I think people were uh, kind of blown away by that. Uh, when we're going up the top and we're bringing that uh, log that we had to cut around with us. So uh, I think there was a lot of teamwork uh, went into that. I think that's why Rab had that, just to uh, make us all feel like there was this thing that we had to do. But I think when people were up there, they were, they really saw that uh, like there's, a, there's a hero and that there's a lot of people that uh, respect that. And they saw the kind of homage to that. There was a definitely an atmosphere that it was something going to happen, something like really great going to happen when, when we got there. And so when we did, um, what happens was we stopped and uh, we were asked to put wishes on a tree and something that uh, symbolised us. So we ended up with this uh, tree full of like uh, strips of like tartan and strips of paper and uh, people's photographs, people's uh, pieces of jewellery, uh, things like that. time dreams are something that you keep inside and that is it's often a very private thing but this it was like a a physical a physical demonstration of dreams and wishes and it was really interesting reading other people's hopes and seeing what meant something to them. When I used to I used to paint for myself and and, and draw for myself but I mean I've really I've started to um, to include a lot of other people and a lot of other people's kind of ideas into my art and, and, and use uh, things that people have said to see who I am. It's, it's just echoing what you do in real life as an artist. You're sharing part of yourself and letting someone see it. Camino was just taking away the walls of, of the classroom and taking away everything and um, taking away the chair and the desk and it was, it was an open air uh, learning experience. And what, there was, I mean, there's two arms to that. There's the internet, which is completely unlimited. And then there's the uh, real life and and being outside in the in the real world. So I mean it's it's not a it's not a classroom experience at all. It's it's run by school teachers and it's coordinated by the school, but it's it's nothing like a school trip. It's it's much more fun. There were good leaders in the aspect that. Um, 
they they just let their students mix and uh, breed together, and and that's what you've got to do. You've got to prime your students for international kind of connections, and uh, you've got to prime them creatively, and then you've you've just got to kind of step aside really and and realise that it's, it is all about the students. It's a symbol of cooperation, of friendship for me, and of uh, you know, dignity. And uh, European Union. Um, I've got on really well with the coordinators. They don't, they don't treat you like you're a pupil. They treat you like, um, like you have something to offer, which we do. We're valued by the coordinators. Learning about other cultures, other nations. That's what I like to the most, actually. But also the, the I think the exhibitions have been quite interesting too. Inchcombe Island, uh, which was like later dubbed Comenius Island. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a that was an excellent day. I think a lot of people really had a had a great experience. I mean, in the in the abbey and uh, around uh, around the island, and how it kind of all there was little hills and little indents and tunnels and little dark spaces and light spaces and open places. And uh, what happened there was was quite significant because it was it was our island. People felt they could really be themselves because we were on an island <laughs> of our own, and uh, people and people that had uh, been been kind of quiet for the for the for the most of the trip had started to open up and people uh, began to dance and uh, play play uh, music and open up a lot more. I was 15, 16, and then I was off in Slovakia ex experiencing this totally different environment and seeing all these different ways of living. And it was really, it opened my eyes to, there's so much more than just where I am. I don't think it ever was a project. I think it was a, more a lifestyle than anything else because I mean, the, the people that I'm still talking to are still highly in communication. I'm going to visit them uh, soon. Uh, and people are still sending me photographs, still uploading music. And uh, I'm, I'm doing the same. I'm still sending them things I've done. or uh, People are sending me things they've written and I'm giving, giving them feedback. So I don't think it ever really will be over. It's, we've made friends that we know it's not just a school thing, it's something that will go on for a long time. I think actually this is 
what we are after. This is not only work and not only communication through internet, but our students become friends by writing to each other, they're visiting each other, the coordinators are visiting each other, and I mean, it brings us a lot of joy and happiness. I am Anil Crossan, on the phone from Edit Watt University, and celebrating the ongoing achievement of community. And a massive growth of confidence um, and the experience of visiting other countries you would never expect to visit. Um, a massive, massive achievement of able to visit all these places. As soon as the project started, it was a, it was a, a great way of meeting people and all the same kind of goals. It definitely didn't end um, when it finished in Scotland. It's not like a project will ever end. Um, I'm hoping to go across to um, Slovakia and myself at a later date. It's not a project, it's a way of life, the community.